Hey everyone, this is Redon with Sir Michael Rivera. I'm Sir Michael. So today I'm going to be reviewing two books, um, two photo biographies actually. Let me try to get these up here. It's The Rise of Barack Obama and Obama, The Historic Journey. Um, okay, let's start off with Obama, The Historic Journey. First of all, Great photographs. Um, it was done by the New York Times by one writer in particular that they have here who did most of the op-eds. Uh, but I guess that's not really important. What's important is that it basically covers the historic, how do I do this? The historic election of President Barack Obama. And uh, just a lot of great full panel photographs of Obama. It basically takes off from the moment when he decides to run for the presidency till all the way at the end when he is actually finally elected as president. And what I loved about this book is that it had a lot of the juicy, the juicy details, um, which I've forgotten. You know, it was in 2008. For example, the bickering between him and Hillary about uh, the, you know, his slumlord business with uh, Resco in Chicago and stuff like that. The fact that Colin Powell uh, later on went on to endorse Obama for the presidency, the selection of Sarah Palin by uh, by uh, John McCain. So basically, a lot of those little uh, momentum shifts of the campaign and of this historic election of uh, President Barack Obama. Um, I really loved it because most of the writing was pretty sharp and the book was not only op-eds that the New York Times did, but it was also a lot of the speeches that Obama himself made and a lot of uh, commentary pieces, you know, political columns. Uh, of course, from the New York Times, but, you know, just a lot of good stuff, a lot of social commentary uh, dealing with Obama. So, you know, the historic journey is a must read. The other one I'm not so enthusiastic about, um, The Rise of Barack Obama, photographs by Pete Souza. And the reason I did not like this one so much is because even though they did do an in-depth look at Obama and his rise, you know, a lot of photographs, particularly photographs when he went to Africa, um, this book really was, um, it kind of stopped at the election. You know, it really chronicled Barack Obama from his days as a senator as a junior senator of Illinois, 99th rank in the U.S. Senate, and all the way up to his deciding that he was going to run for president. So I really wanted the whole story. I wanted the fact that, you know, obviously I already know how it ends, but I did want the whole story, the fact that he went on to uh, win the election, to first of all, to win the nomination for his party, and then to win on the general uh, election for the presidency. So that was, I think, the setback of this book, that it really only followed Obama from his Senate days to when he finally announced his presidency. Um, besides that, I would read it. I mean, it's not really that long. It's only 158 pages, so it's definitely not going to take you a lot of time to finish that one. But, you know, if you had a choice between the two, I would definitely go with Obama, The Historic Journey by The New York Times. Don't forget to keep track of me at wordpress.readonwithsirmichaelrivera.com. Thanks, guys.